Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a short tutorial on working with MPE in UVI's Falcon. For those who don't know what MPE is, it stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. Basically, think of it as allowing individual notes to have three axes of expression. The MPE controller I use is a Sensil Morph. I'll include a link in the description for a review video that Cameron over at Venus Theory did on it. Spoiler alert, it's a great unit at a good price, but I digress. Let's get on with things. All right, so now that we have Falcon started up here, uh, I just did a quick setup on a real basic patch, nothing too fancy. Um, what I would like to mention out at right at the beginning here is um, in the part section, you have to specify that the program is in Omni mode. Uh, currently it's an A1. I put it there on purpose just to demonstrate something. You'll notice you can't hear anything as I play. Um, put it into Omni. Okay, there we go. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're using MPU with Falcon. So, like I said, nothing too fancy for the patch. Let's, uh, let's throw MPE at it. So one of the things that we need to do is we need to go to events and we'll just leave it at the program level. We'll go down to script processor, utilities, and MPE. So this is actually a Lewis script, but this is what allows us to do MPE things. Um, for some reason, the Y axis, so you have X, Y, and Z. The y-axis is set to poly aftertouch, which doesn't make sense to me, so I usually change it to relative or bidirectional, the y-axis being up and down on the device usually. And then pressure Z, I change that to poly aftertouch because that makes sense. And then X, you can leave it as pitch. Um, so, like, so as, it, you actually get per note bend. So here's an example. As you can hear, uh, just right now, each note is able to bend independently of their one as compared to having all notes getting bend by just the pitch bend wheel, for example. So right there you have uh, pitch bend if you want it. You can also change it to uh, bi-directional uh, modulation as well. We'll just leave it as pitch bend. One of the things I also like to do is just change that to 12 just so it's not as severe um, because it can get really sensitive um, with the morph. So, um, so pitch X mod 1 and then poly after touch or if you want to it, you could feed it mod zero. We'll get to that here in a minute. All right, so we're back to the patch here. Um, again, simple is just a single layer, single key group, single oscillator, this wave table here. Um, let's, again, let's just play it real quick for a quick idea what it sounds like currently. And let's move the wave index. Okay, so the wave index actually seems like it could be a pretty interesting target for modulation. Let's actually assign that to the Y axis. So what that means is as I move up and down on the keyboard, on the controller, for each individual note, the wave index will be adjusted. So how do we do that? Okay, so looking again back at the uh, MPE script processor here, we'll see the up and down axis, the Y axis, goes to mod one and it's bi-directional. In this case, it doesn't really matter because we're just starting out at the bottom. So actually what we'll do is we'll just start it right there so we can have some kind of bi-directional movement. And then what we do is right click, add modulation. We'll do this at the layer even though the um, actual MPE handler is at the program level. So layer, script event modulation. Now what that does is We'll just call this uh, index P Y. You can call it whatever you want, doesn't matter. 
But one of the th what you'll see here is you'll see this event ID. It looks like it goes all the way up to 127. But look back, that's uh, event ID 1. That mod 1, or in the case of here, mod 2, or mod 0. Those are the event IDs. So what we'll do... Set that. Set that to mod 1. Now, if we watch... As you can hear, the two different notes, I was able to move the wavetable index. That's one of the beautiful things about MPE. So now, let's uh, just do another thing here. Um, in the effects here, we have good old standard spark verb at the layer. We're not gonna worry about that. That's just to provide some reverb for this example. The thing we're interested in right now is the analog filter. You'll notice I have it disabled. Let's turn it on and take a quick listen. Yeah, so it's cut off, you know, pretty low cut off here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to apply this to the poly aftertouch. So add modulation and it's not gonna be an internal or external, it's gonna be right here up at the top in poly aftertouch. So now, really, that's it. That is the beauty of MPE in Falcon. And this is just a real simple contrived example. Someone who really knows how to sound design much better than I am. It, it, it allows you to do so many things in terms of expressiveness with Falcon. I hope this tutorial was valuable for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Um, also take a look at Cameron's video on the Essential Morph. I believe it is a really great unit, like I said at the beginning of this uh, video. Uh, have a good day.